What's going on stackers? So in this video I'm going to be sharing with you how to modify a KDP Creative Fabrica interior and for free. So welcome back to Stacking Profit. My name's Paddy and over here we give you the tools and resources to learn, grow and master passive income streams so that you can live a life of freedom. Now what we're going to be doing in this video is just modifying a Creative Fabrica interior. So what I've gone ahead and done is just typed in logbook because we're just going to do this fairly quick just so you can see how to modify that first page within the interior just to make the interior a little bit more unique now what i've gone and done is just opened this one in a new pad page sorry this is the one that we're going to be using so now i just need to download this and then we're going to need to delete a couple or one of the pages within the interior and we can do this completely for free. So let's just give that a second to download just there. And now let's just delete that and take a look at this interior. So what I'm going to do is just extract this right here, this folder. Then we're going to take a look at the interior and make sure the dimensions are spot on before we actually go ahead and start modifying. So we need the PDF, which is just here, the interior template password logbook. Now what I want to do is just right click on here and then go to properties. So now this is going to tell us the dimensions, what this interior actually is. So now if we go here to details, just there, and we can see that it's, it's not telling us. So in fact, let's actually just open this so we can take a look as well. So let's take a look at this first page because in a second we're going to delete that, modify it and completely merge them together with a new front page or not front page, the new page just here. So from here, in fact, I'm going to go to files. I'm going to go to properties just here. And then once that shows us, we can see just here that it's just six by nine. Now, if this was bleed, these numbers would be completely different, but it's not. This page is just six by nine. So now knowing that, I can go over to here. Now, why do I do that first? Well, sometimes when you're looking at interiors on here, they might just put six by nine just here but then when you actually look at the file it's with bleed so the dimensions are slightly different and not actually six by nine but by doing this and confirming what the actual numbers are we can make sure that they match up so now i want to go here to canva and go to create a design so from here i want to go to custom dimensions like so and just type in six by nine we want inches on this so let's do that again six times nine and now create new design so from here this is where we want to create that new front page so if we look here this welcome page i can never remember what it's called but here we can delete this and add a new page just so ours is a little bit more unique to everybody else's. So from here, what you'd want to do is just type in this belongs to and so on. And there may be a copyright down the page. So let's just go ahead and do this. So I'm going to click on here. I'm going to click paste because I've already done this. I've already copied it from somewhere else. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to make that a little bit smaller as well. Put that more in the center, round about there. Then a little copyright down the bottom. So let's do that as well. So right here, this is where you could put your pen name. So where it says your pen name, you could put yours there. Let's just make that a little bit smaller as well. And then move that to round about there everything's lined up that looks good and now 
I'd want to download this as a PDF. So we're going to click on PNG, go to PDF print and click download. So now we have that first welcome page. If this is going to download, just give that a second. So here we go. So now we have this, we actually want to delete the first page in this and then merge ours together with the interior. So now we're going to need a PDF page remover and the best one that I found is I love PDF. So come over to Google and type in delete PDF pages and then you want this one just here, this first one, the I love PDF. So now we can click on here, let's remove that from the bottom like so and now we can actually go ahead and delete that first page in the interior which we just downloaded. So from here we actually want to upload that file. So it's just, oh, I'm in the wrong one. So let's move that over to graphics. Let's do that. Let's get that PDF. This is the interior. And let's just move that into here. Now give that a second to just do its thing. It's going to load it up. Let's just click OK. And from here, we can actually click on this and now remove page. So now we've removed that first page and now we want to download the interior. So now we've downloaded it just here. We remove that first page. And now if we click open this interior, let's take a quick look. Just give that a second as well. We can see that there's no front page just because we deleted it. So now we have that. So now let's go back over to our interiors, which are just here. So now we have that first page, which we created in Canva for free, because you can use the free Canva version. And now we have the new interior just here without that first page. And now we want to merge them together. So we're going to use I Love PDF again, because it's just so simple and easy. What you want to do is type in Merge PDF. Then it's going to be the second one just here. I Love PDF merge PDF files online. So now we're going to click on here and this is where we're going to merge them together. So now, in fact, let's just get rid of this like that. So from here, we now want to take that first page, which is just here. So let's take that, drag and drop into here. So there we go. There's the first page, that welcome page. And now we have now we need the rest of the interior. So we're going to take that as well and just move that in. And now from here, we can click merge and that's going to do its thing. It's merged together and now it should just automatically download. So let's just give that a second. There we go. And now let's open this up and take a look. So from here, we can see it worked. We have the front page just here the new page, and then we have the rest of the interior which we downloaded. So I hope you can see just how easy that is. And by doing this, it makes your book a little bit more unique than everybody else's. You can obviously do a lot more to this welcome page if you want, but it's going to make yours a little bit more unique to everyone else who's actually using the same interior. And by doing this, you don't get to you don't really get pulled up on Amazon when going through the review process. So what I've been seeing a lot recently is that when people are using interiors that you can get online, like this one, Amazon's sending them an email saying they reckon it's um that it's public domain or freely on the internet. So just by doing this, customizing that first page, you kind of bypass that and you don't tend to get that many emails because this is much more unique than what everyone else is using. So just by doing that makes things a hell of a lot easier. And as you can see, it was relatively easy to do. And we can use free tools just by using free Canva, and then getting the interior that you want from Creative Fabrica, and then using free tools like I love PDF to delete pages and merge them together so you can have your customized 
or your interior that's a little bit more unique to everyone else's so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you now see just how easy that is so you can go ahead and do it yourself now i hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up also go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos that being said i've been paddy this has been stacking profit and I'll see you again soon.